Last night we went glamping here in South Korea. These amazing pods are all over the place and they're all light up at night. It gives such a festive feel. And during the day they play music throughout the entire camp. Here's what one looks like on the inside. There is no bed, but they come with the traditional Korean mats that you can sleep with on the floor, a TV, lots of plug-ins, and the floors are heated. And everyone comes with their own private balcony. So you can cook, have a nice view. We had some chicken we ordered from the local town and soju, and then our rest of our friends showed up and we had a barbecue. Like and follow for more. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> this is not delicious. Tastes rubbery. And all I can think about is poop. <laughs> Yobo, what's the Korean word for soon? God. What's the Korean word for flower? God. What's the Korean word for soon? Kot. And flower? Kot. <laughs> they sound exactly the same! <laughs> you guys want to know what the hardest part about living in South Korea really is? The recycling! This is all recycling and it sits back here because you have to s separate every piece of plastic and box in its own little containers. So you know what I'm just going to do right now? I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. Octopus, so fresh it's still moving. How is your how is your quesadilla? <laughs> oh my god, you're so stupid. <laughs> Today on my daughter's last full day in South Korea, we went down to Myeongdong in Seoul and stopped at the Nature Republic upstairs. They have a K-pop section where you can buy CDs. And this wonderful worker gave us a ton of free K-pop after we just bought some skincare products so I really wanted to give him a shout out and say thank you so much for being awesome then after that we went over to Baskin Robbins in Yangdong and <laughs> look what kind of ice cream we found cheddar cheese and potato but instead of getting that we decided to get this really awesome square cube of ice cream who's ever seen anything like this before like and follow for more after glamping with friends here in South Korea yesterday we decided to stop for lunch I got Benjang Jjigae and we also had lots of delicious side dishes, as you can see here. We had rice, kimchi, and of course, we also got the house special, makgeolli, which is rice wine. Like and follow for more. Today, my husband and I took my daughters to a 24-hour photo booth here in South Korea. They had so many cute props to choose from. They have lots of headbands, sunglasses, and really cute hats to wear. They even had some props for your pet, so if you bring your dog in, you can dress them up as well. Of course, my adorable husband had to get involved. <laughs> Where would the world be without the Mario gang? <laughs> and of course, the pictures turned out great, and they'll be great mementos to keep for the rest of your wife. Like and follow for more. Want to know a really interesting feature about the bathrooms in the rest areas in South Korea? First of all, notice that the doors go all the way from top to bottom and there's no gap, so there's no peeking. And second, there are signs to let you know what type of toilet this is, as well as if someone is in it. Green is obviously empty and red is occupied, so when you come to South Korea and you use the rest areas, you'll know what type of toilet to look for. Like and follow for more content about South Korea. Oh, oh that smell is so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a disgusting man. You won. I, I hate you so much.
Oh my god, open the window. Ah. There's something wrong with you. Ah. 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 If you are dining in, you will get actual glass cups, and they are relatively significantly smaller than the ones in America. For my daughter's last day in South Korea, we stayed at the Hotel Artmon in Seoul, which, if you are a K-drama fan, might recognize it because this is where The Legend of the Blue Sea was filmed. So if y'all are Lee Min Ho fans like I am, then you definitely want to try to reserve this hotel at some time while you are staying in Seoul, South Korea. This rooftop also has a beautiful view of Namzan Tower, which is also known as the Seoul Tower. Like and follow for more. people ask me uh, if I ever really think about how close I am to North Korea since I live here in South Korea and I never do until moments like this you guys see that right there that's a guard tower uh, on the beach here in Pohang South Korea and they still do uh, they are still check on the beaches regularly here in South Korea to make sure that North Koreans don't just mysteriously pop up on the shores uh, and come into the country. So, uh, what do I ever think about North Korea? <laughs> well, not until just now. Today in South Korea, my daughters and I went to this niche cat store called Chongsori Goyangi, which means legendary cat. Everything inside the store is all cat themed and their prices are very reasonable. They have everything from bags, socks, lots of knickknacks, and they're just adorable. Definitely check them out. They also have an Instagram page. Like and follow for more. <laughs>